So we are hearing from an attorney representing Ottawa Impact backed members of the Ottawa County Board of Commissioners who are being sued by the county health director. A judge has temporarily blocked those commissioners from firing Adeline Hambly. News 8's Demetria Sanders is here now with why her attorneys requested the temporary restraining order and what happens next. Well, the restraining order comes as Hamley believes that the county board is looking to remove her as health officer without justification. An attorney representing the county disagreeing that the judge's ruling was necessary at this time. It was disappointing that the judge did not uh, hear from all sides before issuing the order because this is an order that was completely unnecessary uh, and, and not required. David Kalman, one of the attorneys representing Ottawa County and its commissioner, says he's disappointed that a judge issued an order that blocks the county commission from firing county health officer Adeline Hambly. Attorneys for Hambly requested the temporary restraining order after the board narrowly voted to revise the record of the December resolution where Hambly was appointed. Municipal bodies speak through their motions and order and the, and the resolutions that they pass. And if they're wrong, they have to be corrected to reflect what was actually done at the meeting. That's all that happened. Nothing was changed. But a day after the resolution was corrected, Coleman sent Hamley's attorney a letter saying the previous board of commissioners never appointed her as the permanent Ottawa County Health Officer because a second vote was in held after she was approved by the state. The judge's ruling granting the restraining order was made just two minutes before Hambly was reportedly supposed to meet with County Administrator John Gibbs and two attorneys, Coleman claiming there was no reason for concerns that the meeting was called to fire Hambly. It could not have been done. The, the executive has no power to do that. Only the board can hire or fire uh, a health officer. So. The new slate of Ottawa Impact-backed commissioners want to replace Hambly with Nathaniel Kelly, who has been outspoken against COVID-19 mitigations like masking. Law expert Gerald Fisher says boards do have the ability to fire a health officer under Michigan law. If in the board's opinion, which is a big thing in the board's opinion, the officer or agent is incompetent to ex exercise properly the duties of office. Fisher says whether or not a potential firing in this case would be legal is up to how the law is considered. Arguably, anyway, you could take the position that if the board, by majority vote, formed, you know, says this is our opinion, that may be enough. Um, but, you know, that would be for the court to, to interpret. Now, a hearing on whether or not the restraining order will be extended will be held on March 13th. We have also reached out to Hambly's attorney and have not heard back. Brian.